Murray, Murray, Murray. Murray, Murray, Murray. Do you like card tricks? Yes. Okay. You have to tell me that many times. Okay, Murray, I'll just do it once. Murray, Murray, Murray. Now watch very closely. We have three cards. There is four. I can see another one under this one. <laughs> I feel your pain, dude. <laughs> That's rough, man. <laughs> What's good, peeps? It's your boy, Eduard Toda. Welcome back to another Storytime Sunday, you feel me? People are gonna be like, well, it's not Sunday. It's not for you. <laughs> I live in New Zealand, it's Sunday here, all right? So, you know, it's Sunday. Um, today, I wanna talk about the time when I screwed up in front of 200 people, okay? I was doing, you guys know I don't really do stage stuff, we were at a camp, I was doing kind of, like, it was like kind of like a, a, a show, you know, everyone did like a, it was like a mini talent show, but with like, everyone was just doing things, just testing out stuff, kind of like, everyone got into their little groups and they had to present some kind of performance, right? And so, our group decided to, uh, to basically do like a comedy sketch that involved me doing an actual card trick that, you know, for the audience, um, but it was part of, it was part of the comedy sketch. And so everyone in my group knew what was about to happen, um, except the, you know the audience didn't. So it was kind of like there were stooges, but everyone knew that it was there were stooges. But they weren't stooges. Like the trick itself didn't require them, so it wasn't uh, anything like that. But anyway, there was one dude that uh, basically was asleep throughout all the practices. <laughs> he just didn't come to the practices, the, you know, the, the rehearsals for the for the group. So when we ended up going. Um, I, I start, you know, I basically had my pack of cards, I was doing all the stuff, I don't, rem I don't even remember what the, the, the sketch was about, I don't even remember, uh, what I was doing, but I do remember I was doing something with the, with the cards and I was showing them, okay, it's not this card, right, it's not this card, right, it's not this card, and I was doing this, this big presentation with, trying to show, you know, 200 people a playing card, okay, um, which actually wasn't as bad as I thought. Like if your if your stage is elevated, uh, you can actually show cards like this, and people will be able to see them if you just put put them high enough. Um, which was surprising, but anyway. And uh, there was one point where I do I do a thing, and the guy that did not come to the rehearsals, he didn't realize that we were doing a sketch and that everyone that was on the team was in on it. Right, so he was on stage with me. And from behind me, he can see the method, okay? Because it's <laughs> it's an angle thing, right? Well, it's it's kind of an angle thing, and uh, and he just shouts in like out loud. There's two cards there. There's two cards there. Like like out loud, like in front of everyone. And I'm just like, oh my god, dude, this dude just destroyed me. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> Like, the whole room started laughing, okay? It was literally the worst case scenario. Like, probably would have been worse. The only w thing that could have been worse was, like, if I, like, dropped the cards miserably and, like, everything went everywhere and, like, the trick ended right there, okay? But, being the seasoned magician <laughs> that I wasn't, okay? Being just the trooper that I am, I figured I'm not, I don't give a crap, all right? I don't give a shit. I'm going to finish this no matter what. <laughs> and so like, you know, I always say like, always adapt. The audience doesn't know when the, when the trick ends and when the trick doesn't end. And so I kind of played it off like that was kind of meant to happen. It didn't come out like that. Everyone knew that I got caught. <laughs> Everyone figured that out. <laughs> Everyone realized, like they were telling me after, like, oh bro, it was the funniest thing. When Cameron said that shit, and I was just like, I, I was about to like murder the dude, right? I was so, so angry. 
But what I ended up doing was I I ended up doing what I usually do when I get caught. What the hell is bright? Um, I ended up doing what I usually do when I get caught, and that's uh, you know with anything, <laughs> and that's to say, yes, 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 but <laughs> okay, that's my like go-to line. So uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, but you see, if I put this, and I this let's say this was the I don't remember what the. Um, yeah, this one says this was a selected card. I said, if I put this in the middle, you guys see it go in the middle, yeah? You see it somewhere inside the pack. I don't exactly know where. It's somewhere in here. Everyone see that, yes? Now, that's not the card. Everyone can see that's not the card, yes? It's That's an eight. It's not a, not a four. But watch. All I have to do is wave my hand over the pack just like this. And it turns visibly into the four. But... You know, that's just an illusion, because if I take the four and I just shake it a little bit, it turns right back. And <laughs> my out was an Erdnase change in front of 200 people. <laughs> I got an applause, people, you know, felt the finale, and I just get, got the hell off stage and just sat my ass down and tried to, tried to like, not draw attention to myself the whole night. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I can definitely relate to screwing up a magic trick. I can definitely relate uh, to that feeling. But, you know what? It's not the end of the day. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of anything. Because, guess what? People were still asking to see card tricks after that. They were laughing about it. They were, like, coming up to me and saying that was hilarious that that happened. And I was just, like, kind of butt hurt. But I just went along with it. But they still knew me as the magician guy. They still wanted to see card tricks. I still fooled their ass. So... End of the day, like, David Williamson failed a trick on whatever on TV. It's hilarious. He's still, he's still David Williamson. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So, if there's a lesson to be learnt is that, you know, just go for it. Don't be afraid to fail, you know? You said it happens. Failure is part of life, but, you know, you live and you learn. And what I did learn is that if we're going to have people that are going to be part of the trick in any way, make sure that everyone knows that they're part of the trick in some way. <laughs> You know, oh, that was a, that was a rough one. And, uh, actually another time I didn't fail that time, but some people caught on to how I did it. Uh, me and my friend did a dress code, the effect dress code, which I can't do anymore. I don't have the setup for it. Um, but it's essentially, uh, you know, a trick where you can show your, your t-shirt, you turn around, you have like a hoodie on, you turn around and, uh, you turn back and the t-shirt's completely changed. You take your, your hoodie off and, uh, you know, it's all changed. And me and my friend, this was a completely different camp. We performed that about like in front of about like 80 people. Uh, and it was, we, we, I had a blue shirt. He had a red shirt. We both turned around without going next to each other. And when we turned back around, our shirts had switched. And uh, that was the trick. And most people got fooled by that completely. But uh, apparently I flashed a little bit of, of the red or something at the end. So uh, some people caught on to it. Uh, but it was like a very small percentage of people, and um, it wasn't as bad as the first time. People were like, actually went crazy over that trick. Um, which I actually haven't seen anyone perform dress code in that way since. So I don't know if it's like kind of an original concept to, to have like a transposition, but it definitely was a good effect. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've had my fair share of fails in front of, like on the stage. Uh, well, actually, those are kind of the two, because I don't perform on stage much. But, uh, you know, obviously close up that... Fails happen all the time. You know, even now, sometimes people, people, people catch me out. But, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. So, anyway, that's about it for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. I do daily videos. Uh, follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All the links are down below. My Patreon and my uh, Discord links are also down below. So, if you want to go that route and, you know, hang out, talk shit, support me, whatever, the links are down below for that. As always, mad respect, much love, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.